Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a little bit of a haul slash review slash first impression of some fragrances to share with you and I'm also really happy and thankful because Lucky Scent has partnered with me in today's video and they have sent me most of these perfumes I'm about to share with you. So huge thank you to Lucky Scent. If you guys haven't heard of them, they are a distributor of not only full size bottles but also lots of samples of luxury, niche, and high end fragrances. So they are actually the first company I think of when I'm looking for samples because they have such a huge selection. I've ordered from them myself multiple times in the past and actually a lot of my current full bottles or full bottles I've had were first sampled from their website. So they are 100% legit. They're an amazing website, really fast shipping, Canada and the US, um, really good prices. And I just love that they have such a comprehensive, large selection and their website is very easy to navigate. And I've had nothing but good experiences with Lucky Scent. So if you guys are interested in checking out their products, I will have everything linked down below, including links to the fragrances I'm gonna be talking about today. They're amazing. And if this is your first time on my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Alithia and on this channel we do talk mostly about perfume. So if that is your thing, please make sure to head on down and hit the subscribe button. Also feel free to head on over and follow me on Instagram if you haven't already, where I share a lot of behind the scenes footage, outfits of the day, scents of the day, minimalism, home decor, decluttering, and of course a ton of perfume related content. And without further ado, let's get started in today's video. Okay guys, so first of all, let's talk about Dama Bianca from Zerzhov. So this one was not sent to me, this one I paid for with my own money. This was a blind buy and I had heard so many good things about this perfume so many people Love it and say it's one of the best vanillas I've seen videos where people said it was in their top three vanillas for life Yeah, so really good reviews with this one and this is a powdery fruity vanilla fragrance So I will read you the notes and tell you what I think of the smell but first I do want to just give you a Close-up of the bottle you guys. This is probably one of the most beautiful bottles I've ever seen. It is so gorgeous. I'm a huge fan of the Zerjoff packaging and branding and I also love that all of their fragrances kind of have a little bit of a backstory with them. It says, Dama Bianca, the white lady, is a story of a lady trapped within her dreams as high above the vista as she gazes out onto what could lay beyond. Locked behind walls of jealousy and deception, her only escape is the fragrant notes of fruits and flowers outside her reach. Daily bounties are brought to her by a mysterious figure as her only sense of what the outside holds. Finally, a sensual and creamy base create an enveloping aura which keeps her waiting for more. I just, I love these little backstories stories they just make the fragrance really come to life so in the opening of this perfume you have kumquat and lime in the middle you have Italian iris violet Egyptian jasmine lilac and lily of the valley and in the base you have vanilla malt ambrette white musk sandalwood and cedar so this perfume, you guys, I would describe as very delicate, feminine, soft, romantic, and pretty. Those are the words that come to mind. It is not a beast mode performance like a lot of the Zerjoffs are, which I actually appreciate because I tend to get headaches from really strong perfumes. Um, but this one has good performance nonetheless. I actually had this on my arm the other day and I could smell it all throughout the whole day and actually the sillage like the little scent bubble that was coming up as I was going about about my business was really really nice it was just a very soft pretty powdery feminine vanilla just really beautiful um, in my Instagram post I said that I would envision a princess to wear this and didn't that little story make you think a little bit of like Rapunzel you know <laughs> I don't know just a beautiful kind of a kind of a romantic princessy type of a perfume so really gorgeous um, so when you first spray this perfume you do get a little burst of that fruity opening that kumquat that lime you do get some floral notes right off the hop I do have it on my wrist I just sprayed it not long ago so it's still very fruity at this moment and to be very honest with you I don't know how I feel about that that kumquat note like if I'm being perfectly honest it's kind of different and I think it's what gives this perfume a unique edge it isn't like any other vanilla that I own it's a very different vanilla and it's also a very fruity floral vanilla so and after this is on your skin for a couple of hours it becomes this very soft sort of musky ambrette like um, musk mallow vanilla perfume it's very very pretty I do like the dry down of this more than I like the opening and it lasted me all day on my skin so pretty good performance not gonna fill a room nothing like that it's not a beast mode monster projector it's a very it's a very soft kind of sensual pretty fragrance I also think it leans on the mature side I don't think teenagers are gonna love this one I don't know if you're in your early 20s I don't know if you would love this one I guess everybody's taste is subjective but for me I do get 
a little bit more of a mature, fruity, soft, floral, feminine, princess-like vanilla. I wouldn't suggest blind buying it like I did. I like to do crazy things and blind buy expensive perfumes. I really should stop, <laughs> but it's a beautiful perfume. Um, I'm gonna have to take my time with it though because like I told you, I don't love the opening, like that kumquat, and I don't know, there's something about it that kind of, I don't know how I feel about the kumquat. Like, I think if they got rid of that, it wouldn't be what it is, but it would be more my my speed. So I'm not 100% sure how I feel about this one yet. I don't know if it will be a forever in my collection, but I did really enjoy the dry down and the sillage. So those are my thoughts currently on the Dama Bianca from Zerjoff. Now let's move ahead and talk about, I think my favorite from today's video. And this is Eau Du Well from Diptyque and this is the Eau de Toilette. So this was also a blind fragrance and this one was kindly sent to me from Lucky Scent. So thank you again so much to the people at Lucky Scent for doing this for me. I really, really appreciate it. I've been wanting this perfume in my collection for such a long time, even though it was blind, even though I had never smelled it, I just had a feeling I was gonna like it. Do you ever get a feeling in your gut that you're just gonna love a perfume? Um, so first of all, I want to show you the packaging. You guys, I can't, I can't even with this packaging. It is so beautiful. Again, even though this is more of that simple kind of cardboard box, it's just gorgeous. The Diptyque branding is beautiful. I love the simplicity, but I also love I love the detail, I love everything about it. So absolutely beautiful box. And this is the bottle itself, which is equally beautiful. Oh, so gorgeous. <laughs> if you have a Diptyque fragrance that you love, please comment down below because I definitely wanna check out more from this house. And I plan to actually go to a Diptyque counter so I can experience them all in person. That would be the smart thing to do <laughs> rather than continue to blind buy. So yeah, the bottle's gorgeous. Absolutely love it. Um, I, and a beautiful name, everything about it's beautiful. And I did hear that the um, Eau de Parfum is quite different from the Eau de Toilette, and I really wanted the Eau de Toilette. From what the Eau de Parfum sounds like, it sounds like it would be a little bit deeper, darker, and richer, and this one sounded like it would be more green and kind of a lighter, greener vanilla, and that was what I really wanted. So the notes that you have are bourbon vanilla, elemi resin, cardamom, juniper, olibanum, pink pepper, black tea, ambergris, bergamot, saffron, and musk. And the most prominent notes according to Fragrantica are that bourbon vanilla, the elemi resin, and sort of those green, um, spicier, fresher notes. And what this really smells like to me, you guys, first of all, it really reminds me a little bit of Angelique Noir from Guerlain, although Angelique Noir is definitely more of a nighttime sensual thick vanilla perfume where this one is definitely more of a light green more foresty type of perfume this basically smells like you're in the middle of a forest but you're also surrounded by vanilla it is very resinous it's very green I love the juniper that's in here I don't know what Elemi resin smells like personally like I don't know what that note smells like but this is just a beautiful kind of a resinous green foresty type of fragrance as if you're in the middle of like a, a pine forest or a spruce forest but you're wearing a beautiful vanilla perfume and this has pretty good performance as well for being an eau de toilette I haven't given it a full proper wear but just spraying a couple sprays on my arm just to kind of experience it I could smell this coming off of myself all day long as I was going outside doing my errands I don't think it's too green that you couldn't wear it for lots of occasions I think it's pretty versatile for a green perfume um, it's very pretty the vanilla is very prominent. I would say it's predominantly a vanilla perfume. I just cannot get enough of this bottle, you guys. It's so beautiful. It is so beautiful. This is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite vanilla perfumes. Like, honestly, if I'm going with my gut, Dama Bianca falls a little bit further on the list for me. This one is much higher on the list. Oh, it's so beautiful. But I have learned about myself that I love a green vanilla. Apparently I love a green vanilla. This is just beautiful, you guys. It smells expensive as well, and it's very, it's kind of delicate, but still, still has a presence. I would wear this for the same occasion I would wear Angelique Noir because they're kind of similar for me, but this one also has more of a freshness. So I think you can also get away with this during the daytime. Like I say, this one is quite versatile, but I would totally wear this for a more formal special occasion dinner or something like that. So yeah, again, thank you so much to Lucky Scent. I would say 
if you like green vanillas and if you like Angelique Noir, there's a good chance you'll probably like it. Um, but yeah, Lucky Scent, of course, always has samples. Now, the next one I want to talk about was also kindly gifted to me from Lucky Scent, and this is Raja Parfums Elixir Essence Pour Femme. This one, again, was also blind, and this is one I've wanted to get my hands on again for a really long time. I have been lusting after this perfume. I have been sent a couple of perfumes before from Raja, but not this one, and I really wanted to try this one. Yeah, first of all, I want to show you the gorgeous packaging. It is so opulent and beautiful the way it comes in that sort of silk pillow. Really just very beautiful and very luxurious. And this is the bottle itself. This is so stunning, you guys. Absolutely beautiful. Again, Raja is one of those companies that just wows you with their presentation. You just know just by holding the bottle and looking at the packaging before you even smell the perfume, you know you're getting something high quality. So in the opening, you have bergamot. In the middle, you have rose de mai, raspberry, peach, violet, heliotrope, ylang ylang, geranium, jasmine, and lily of the valley. And in the base, you have musk, cashmere wood, vanilla, orris, violet leaf, ambrette, sandalwood, cedar, and cinnamon. All those notes to say that this is a very light, delicate, floral fragrance. So the notes make it sound like it would be very complex and probably a little rich. Not rich in the sense of like... Um, heavy notes but just that it would be very saturated and, and a stronger fragrance however this perfume is actually very light and i will be completely honest with you guys i was expecting a little more from this you know i'm not i'm not trying to bash the fragrance in any way it is a beautiful fragrance but i will say that i was expecting it to be just have a little bit more presence for what it is and for what I know it retails for, like the price of this perfume, it is a very light, soft, pretty, feminine scent. I would classify this as an everyday fruity floral fragrance. The vanilla is very minimal to understated. I don't really get much vanilla at all. Um, what I mostly get, honestly, is that peach, the raspberry. I definitely pick up on that geranium that's in there. The rose is there. It's a very soft, light, very inoffensive, sort of mass pleasing, can't go wrong, easy grab and go, everyday perfume. I do have it on my arm and I've had it on my arm for a couple of hours now. I've been testing it out um, pretty frequently over the last week or two because I wanted to give you guys a really honest um, and accurate representation of how I feel about it. So it's pretty. It's very soft. Like at this point, I don't think you would be able to smell it on me unless you put your nose into my skin. Like this is a perfume you have to, I think if you sprayed heavily, I think if you sprayed all over and heavily, you can definitely pick up on it a little bit more, but it still is not projecting a whole lot and I can't smell it on myself. Like I have to put my nose into my skin to smell it on myself. Whereas something like the Dama Bianca, which is on my wrist, I could smell that on myself for hours, like throughout the day, just one spray and I could smell it on myself for hours. This one, I can have five or six sprays and I do not really pick it up on myself. And if I do, it's very, very subtle. So I have to say, honestly, you guys, I'm a little disappointed in the performance of this perfume. I was expecting it to be something bigger. I was expecting it to have a little bit more presence. I'm really not wowed by it in that in that way, especially um, just because it has such high stature and it's called Elixir Pour Femme, it makes it sound like it would be very special. I'm not saying it isn't special, it's a pretty perfume. I'm sure that the um, ingredients are high quality and it is a pleasant perfume. Like I would put this perfume on just for going to run errands, just for every day going for brunch maybe. Um, it's just a nice, pleasant, inoffensive, everyday, fresh floral perfume. I just, I need to also feel like I have some presence with my perfume. I need to be able to pick it up on myself. And I really just, I don't really feel like I'm wearing anything when I wear this, to be really honest. I'm, so I'm a little disappointed and I've tried lots of other perfumes. I shouldn't say lots, but I've tried a few other from Raja. Scandal, Reckless, both of those have really good performance, but it, it is lacking in this one a little bit. I will be honest. And this is, I've talked to a couple of other people about it and they've said the same thing that, you know, it was a little too soft for them and they really felt like they needed to push their noses into their skin to pick it up. Um, so gorgeous perfume, but I do wish that it was a little stronger. That's, that's my thoughts on this perfume. It's beautiful, beautiful, everyday, soft, feminine, pretty. I mean, I, I really can't fault it, you know, as a, as a perfume. And I mean, 
The packaging is absolutely exquisite. I think it would be a great warm summer day perfume because it isn't overpowering, isn't heavy. Um, very, very light, but I do, I do wish that yeah, like it's even it's even super super soft at the atomizer. Just a very soft, delicate skin scent. So yeah, that is Elixir Essence Parfum from Raja. Um, honestly, I wanted to be blown away, and I wasn't blown away. <laughs> I really wish I was, because I had high hopes, high high hopes for this perfume, and I really wanted to be blown away by it, um, but I wasn't. So that is Elixir. <laughs> Elixir, <laughs> Elixir Essence Parfum from Raja Parfum. Now the next one you guys is what many people would describe as a staple in anyone's perfume collection and this is from Eccentric Molecules and this is Molecule 01. Now this one you guys actually I was really thrilled when Lucky Scent said they wanted to send it to me because um, I had tried to get a bottle of this in the past and I accidentally bought Eccentric 01 which is a very different fragrance to this one. I was confused. Um, <laughs> so anyways, this is Molecule 01 and this is comprised of a single note which is ISO E Super or ISO E Super and that is a synthetic woody ambery note. And what this perfume kind of smells like, or what this fragrance smells like, I should say, is a little bit like pencil shavings, like wood shavings from a pencil. Um, and apparently this perfume projects and fills a room and people love it. And like when people pick it up on you or if people pick it up on other people, apparently people just love it. So I have not experimented with this a whole lot yet. I'll be honest. It's still very new for me, very new to my collection. And um, I will I will definitely play around with it a little bit and kind of see how I feel. So first of all, I'll give you a view of the bottle. Really interesting bottle, really pretty bottle actually. Um, and this is supposed to be also a pretty good layering perfume. Apparently, if you layer this with your perfumes, it can help them smell longer, or, or last longer rather. I do have it on my right arm here, and this thing does have monster performance, I can say that. It does have very, very good performance. Um, even the very first day that I sprayed this on myself and tried wearing it, I could smell this all day. This is not a fragrance that settles into the background and hides. I mean, this thing is a beast. It's a complete beast. It's just, it, it really does leave a bit of a trail and it fills the room around you and you can really pick it up on yourself. The more that it sits on your skin, the longer it sits on your skin, the more it comes to life. Yeah, I'm interested to know your thoughts on this perfume. Do you layer it with other perfumes? Do you wear it by itself? I'd love to know people's experiences. From what I've what what I've seen on YouTube and what I've seen like in the community, some people like to to layer it and other people like to wear it by itself. So I would be really curious to know what your thoughts are. And the next one, you guys, is in this really interesting bottle. So this is Molecule O2, also from Eccentric Molecules, and this one is comprised of also a single note Ambroxan which is a synthetic musky, musky ambery smell. Apparently it's supposed to have like a dry ambery smell. And this one, you guys, I have to be honest, I cannot smell this for anything. Like I cannot smell this on myself. I mean, when I first spray it, it's there and it's very subtle. I do have it again on my right, but I have it on my hand actually. I just honestly, I really cannot pick it up on myself. I don't know if it's me. When I first spray it, I do sort of get a little bit of something. I get a little bit of something and Ambroxan is in a lot of very popular fragrances and apparently this is a great layering fragrance. In fact, I think they say this is the best layering scent from the whole line of eccentric molecules because it really doesn't have much of a smell, but apparently it really helps your perfumes to last longer and it helps them, it just gives them a little bit more to their presence and um, yeah. So I'm gonna have to experiment with this one and let you guys know it would be a really good experience Experiment to put this on one arm with a fragrance and on the other on the other arm only have the perfume and see which one lasts longer or whatever but yeah I'm also curious to know your thoughts about this one because I haven't really played around with it a whole lot and to be perfectly honest I cannot smell it on myself worth anything <laughs> even on paper I cannot smell it on myself so I don't really know I don't really know what I'm gonna do with that one there's something there but just very faint in comparison to the O1, which is huge, like it fills a room. So very, very different. It's really interesting that they're both only comprised of one note and one of them I can barely smell and the other one fills a room. Really interesting. Um, but yeah, so that is Molecule O2 from Eccentric Molecules. 
And the last thing I want to share with you today in today's video is this discovery set from Goldfield and Banks. And this was also generously gifted to me from Lucky Scent, so thank you so much again. This company is really interesting because apparently they try to create fragrances that embody um, the very natural sort of woody and oceanic smells of Australia. Combining the science of Australia's most authentic native essences with centuries of French expertise in the art of perfume making. Our perfumes created by Dimitri Weber, I hope I said it properly, Weber, are a quest for the ultimate Australian olfactory experience. And so this is my first experience with Goldfield and Banks. I don't know a whole lot about the company, um, but I've always, I've kind of heard the name bouncing around and I was always really interested to try a few of these perfumes. And I will let you know which ones are my favorite from this set. So the ones they sent me are Bohemian Lime, Wood Infusion, Southern Bloom, Pacific Rock Moss, Desert Rosewood, White Sandalwood, Velvet Splendor, and Blue Cypress. And my favorite ones for some reason are actually the ones in the very beginning. I, I really like the first four. So first of all, this is the little booklet that comes with the fragrances and it says the essence of Australia. And you guys, I have to say all of these fragrances have amazing performance and they all smell really good. I can say that right off the hop. They're very natural smelling, they're very niche, they're definitely not your um, like designer fragrances, so for people who are not into niche, I don't think this will be your thing. The notes are all written here, and it kind of tells you a little bit about what it's supposed to be, and really, really beautiful. So if you'd like to try the Goldfield and Banks Discovery Set, um, they do have this on Lucky Scent, obviously, and I would definitely recommend checking them out if you like those sort of aquatic, watery, woody fragrances. Now, let me tell you which ones I really like. So one that I really like is the Bohemian Lime. This one is very fresh and very green and obviously very, very limey, very citrusy. So that one's very good for summertime. Um, so the next one that I really like is Pacific Rock Moss. And I did spray it on the bottom there. Oh, that Pacific Rock Moss is beautiful. It's very, very aquatic. It's aquatic and it's really beautiful and it literally just smells like the ocean. Um, so that one says, that one says, seize the day and experience a moment of pure bliss with this invigorating perfume. A distinctive marine note graced with aromatic essences brings you on a lush coastal walk on a beautiful summer day. And it is marine, vibrant, and citrusy. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. I mean, if you want to feel like you are literally beside the ocean, oh, it's, it's such a beautiful scent. I don't even know how to describe it. That one's definitely one of my favorites. Definitely one of my favorites. It's, oh gosh, it's just so good. It literally just smells like the ocean. Definitely unisex. I mean, it's a perfume that, it's one of those fragrances that evokes a feeling. It's not so much something you would wear, like obviously for a date or for whatever. It's just like a fresh summer scent. Another one that I really like is the Southern Bloom. So that's one of the more floral ones. The next one that I really like is this one. And this is called Wood Infusion. And this one is really, really nice as well. It's a little bit more woody, obviously. Uh, that one is very masculine, I would say. And that would be a great one for a guy to wear. Very, very good for any man. A very fresh, um, summertime, woody fragrance. Um, so it says, a luxe oriental scent surrounded by an elixir of rich woods, buttery roots, and aromatic notes. Wood Infusion is a celebration of all wood species found around the island. My absolute favorite is the Pacific Rock Moss. That one's beautiful. If I was going to get any from this from this collection, I would definitely get Pacific Rock Moss. And it just, if you like those fragrances, sort of like Sailing Day from Replica from Maison Margiela, something that really just makes you feel like you are on the ocean side. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. So yeah, all of the Goldfield and Banks fragrances here are just very natural smelling, very fresh. They take into account a lot of woody notes. So yeah, I have a feeling that people who have been to Australia or live in Australia, that probably resonates a lot with them. I've never been. I would love to go, um, but I really like the concept behind this company and I love how they're trying to bring to life you know, the essences of Australia. I think that's really special and really pretty. It also says that all of their perfumes have a concentration of 20% of oils or more and are tested under extreme humid conditions. And yeah, I can speak for that, you guys, because these are very strong. Like even one little spray on paper in your whole living room smells like these perfumes. They're very, very strong perfumes with really good lasting power. They lasted on the strips for days after I sprayed them. Like just beautiful, really good performance and really pretty. And yeah, that Pacific rock moss is gorgeous.
So that was it for today's video, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed hearing my thoughts on these fragrances. I'm looking forward to hearing your thoughts down below if you have also tried some of them. Also, don't forget to check out Lucky Scent. I will have details about their company down in the description box below, as well as a link to their website. And I will see you guys all very soon in my next video. Bye for now. Take you off, I came me way to strong Cannot keep it low-key Got me drugged, your pheromones hit the roof Auto, your taste It's really a bad reception out there Where you heading? Why ain't gravity pulling you in closer to me? I've lost you